Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel and today we're doing another Madden 21 simulation because Sam Darnold just got traded to the Carolina Panthers. He's still rocking number 14 here in Carolina. The thing is, he's only normal development rate and a 70 overall. At age 23 though, things are still looking up here in Madden 21 but it's hard to do a simulation with a 70 overall quarterback. I believe Sam Darnold is a decent quarterback. He was just on a poor team, and that's the New York Jets. They didn't surround him with uh, players and pieces to win, and that's why they ended up moving on from him, and now he's got a fresh new start here in Carolina, and maybe he can turn things around with Matt Rule and the Carolina offense. They got some playmakers. They got Christian McCaffrey, DJ Moore. He's reuniting with Robbie Anderson. Like... The future looks bright for Sam Darnold, so tell me what you guys think about this trade down in the comment section down below. I'd like to hear you guys' thoughts. Make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I would really appreciate it, and let's get started in this simulation. So he's only at a normal development rate, and he's 23 years old. That is plenty of time to upgrade his overall, but there's an issue right now, and that's having Teddy Bridgewater on the team. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to trade him away. He's a 78 overall. He's he's way better than Sam Darnold as Madden. So, looks like there's some teams that need a quarterback. There's plenty of teams. Who do we give Teddy Bridgewater to? The Jags don't want him because, you know, the Jags are going to get Trevor Lawrence this year. I have no idea where he could go. He could go to Washington and compete for the starting job right now. I know they got Fitz Magic, right? Yeah, they got Fitz Magic over there. So why not? We'll give them a chance. We'll give them an opportunity. Let's see what what some players that uh, can help us out immediately. You think we could get a Brandon Scherf for Teddy Bridgewater? We're about to find out right here, and we do. All right. So we got Sam Darnold some protection for the simulation. That that seems like a realistic trade, a right guard for a solid quarterback. And now we have, you know. A good right side of the offense line, while the left side is kind of shitty, but it's okay. We have Christian McCaffrey, like I said before, Robbie Anderson, DJ Moore, uh, Dan Arnold is our tight end. Not the greatest of tight ends in the world, but whatever. Our defense is pretty stellar, though. We got Brian Burns, all right? We got Derek Brown, uh, Eater Gross Matos. We got Jackson. I think that's Dante Jackson. What's his name? Tell me his name. Yeah, Dante Jackson, 82 overall. Jeremy Chin, Hassan Reddick, he came over from the Arizona Cardinals, Shaq Thompson, and Burris. And don't forget about Denzel Perryman. So the defense, it's young and it's improving. They're a rebuilding team. That's essentially what they are. Uh, got Christian McCaffrey at punt returner and then Cannon at kick returner. And they got Joey Sly at kicker and Charlton at punter. So when you take a look at it, you see it's a young rebuilding team. So since we just traded away Teddy Bridgewater for Brandon Scherf, now we're going to sim midway through the season, see what Sam Darnold's stats are looking like, see if he could bring him to the promised land, just hopefully the playoffs. We need a playoff berth here in Carolina. Happy, you know, Sam Darnold gets a fresh start because the Jets, they didn't really support him from day one. They, they just have been crappy and haven't done shit since, you know? Here we go. So we're going to upgrade our players here. For the sake of simulation. And I believe the Panthers have a losing record right now. But that's expected. They're 3-5. and five. Um, They're last place in the NFC South. Um, let's take a look at Sam Darnold's stats. Let's see if he went up in overall. Did he progress at all? We're about to find out. Here we go. Sam Darnold. 13 touchdowns. 3 interceptions. That's solid work from Sam Darnold. Learning a new offense with Matt Rule. 60 completion percentage. 1,400 yards passing. His QBR is a 97.4, not bad at all. And now he's a 72 overall, so he did go up in overall, and still, he's only 23 years old. He's only going to get better from here. So hopefully Sam Darnold can finish out the season strong and push for a playoff berth. That is what we're hoping for. Christian McCaffrey now, he has almost 600 yards rushing, two touchdowns, kind of weak. He fumbled once, and Sam Darnold rushing wise has 109 yards rushing on 31 attempts averaging 13.6 yards per game and that's solid stuff from him receiving wise his leading receiver is David Moore David Moore has four touchdowns 435 yards receiving 
DJ Moore, five touchdowns, almost 300 yards, and Robbie Anderson has no touchdowns, but it is what it is, and there's Christian McCaffrey has no touchdowns receiving. Uh, defensively, why not? We'll take a look at it. Defensively, Shaq Thompson is our leading uh, tackler on defense, along with Denzel Perryman. Is Hassan Reddick, the guy they just signed out of free agency, is he balling out? No, Edu Gross Matos, who... It says rookie, but technically it's his second year, we'll say, in this, in this simulation. And Hassan Reddick in his first year with the Panthers has three and a half sacks. So, Eder Gross Matos. Let's see what his overall is. He's been balling out. Penn State rookie, 77 overall. And he's only going to get better for our defense. So, that that's a good uh, draft pick right there. Not a good signing. Good draft pick. All right. Now, we have to sim the rest of the season right now. We are 3-5. and five. We are last place in the division. If we can make a playoff berth, that would be amazing, but I doubt it. Let's see if Sam Darnold could take him to the playoffs in his first year with the Carolina Panthers. We're about to find out. What do you guys think? I don't think it's going to happen, but maybe it does. It does not. We lose 42-21 to to the New Orleans Saints. Finished 8-8, eight and eight, so that's solid. And with this mad at 21, they didn't finish or update the games to 17 game season so that's why you're gonna see these records still until Madden 22 you know it takes hard work to add one more game to the season according to EA Sports so 29 touchdowns 10 INTs solid solid season for Sam Darnold in his first season with the Panthers offense 3300 yards passing 63 completion percentage 98 QBR did he go up in overall he did so he went up four overall from the start of the season we're gonna do one more season in the simulation and see how well he could do in his second season with the Panthers but there you go there you have it he's a 74 overall now after his first season with Carolina rating rating wise 88 throw power 85 deep accuracy you see the stats there they are how's the speed 78 he's a solid like mobile quarterback he can run if you want him to he won't be the greatest but he can move around a little bit in the pocket uh there you have it there's Sam Darnold in his first season, there's Christian McCaffrey, got 1,200 yards rushing, five touchdowns. And Sam Darnold got two touchdowns rushing, 221 yards on the season. Not bad. Receiving-wise, David Moore was the leading receiver. It's very, you know, didn't expect that, all right? Robbie Anderson has 700 yards receiving, and DJ Moore has 600. So, well, David Moore got 10 touchdowns, Robbie got two, and DJ got seven. So there you have it. There is the first season with Sam Darnold in a Panthers uniform. Now, we did finish last place, but there's room for improvement. We're going to send to the offseason, see who we have to re-sign this coming season for the Carolina Panthers. Make sure they ball out, all right? We have to make sure they ball out this season. And here we go. So we got some key free agents to sign. Brandon Scherf, we're going to need him. So, we have plenty of cap space. That's not an issue. So, let's uh, do this. He's staying with the team. All right. Now, we got Taylor Motten. Moten. I don't know how you say his name. We need we need a young, studly offensive line for Sam Darnold. There you go. He got the offer he was looking for. Now, let's look at these bums. Anybody decent? Doesn't look like it. We got Sam Darnold locked up. He's 74 overall. We're, we're looking good. Now we're going to sim to offseason week one, see what free agents are available in the first week of free agency. So, here goes Matos. We're going to keep him there at the right end spot. Dante Jackson, he does need another corner to pair him with. Brian Poole can be the guy, hopefully. Let's do that. Brian Poole, there you go, 83 overall. And then maybe the Eagles get rid of. Zach Ertz and we do pick up a tight end because we kind of need a tight end here in Carolina so that that would make sense that would make sense so there you go we're leading in the race for Zach Ertz uh I don't want to we might need a backup halfback Gus Edwards would be solid at that spot there we go Gus Edwards we're leading him as well Pouncey retired can't get him to get Kalechi Assemble, that's a possibility because we kind of need a left guard. Trying to make Sam Darnold be, you know, surrounded with great players in his second season, so this simulation will go smoothly. 
and we're fifth in the race. We're gonna withdraw our offer there. Um, maybe they sign Antonio Brown. Nah, we're not gonna do that. We could sign Todd Gurley because he's still available in real life. So give him a little deal. He could be the backup for Christian McCaffrey. Say that's solid stuff for him. Um. Other than that, Anthony Costanza retired, so we can't get him. So let's look at left tackle and left guard for this team. Russell Okun. Let's get him. See what he could do for us. Eh, actually, Villanueva. Get him because he's that star development. Maybe he could go up faster. That's that's how that works in Madden. They develop at a faster rate than normal rate. So we're going to get him. Uh, left guard wise. Um, Force Lamp. But I want, and we're gonna we're gonna put all our money in Kalechi Assembly. We kind of need him for this team. We're gonna give him a rich contract. Hopefully he can sign. All right, there we go. So now with all those free agents, say you know the Panthers ball out in free agency next year with Sam Darnold. You know they want to do that. And here we go. The tech. Uh, all right, so Zach Ertz is the only one that declined and kind of needed a tight end. So we're gonna sign a tight end. Make sure. Sam Darnold has a tight end to throw to in all of this. Greg Olson retired. Can't get him. Cameron Brait. Now he's coming off a Super Bowl. So maybe he could be the number one guy here in Carolina. And there you go. Put money in the Cameron Brait. And would you look at that? We're going to sim. We're just going to sim next season. I don't care what happens. We're going to just sim next season. Hopefully Sam Darnold can perform with these great players we brought in this offseason and hopefully can make a playoff burst that's what we're trying to do in the simulation for sam darnold trying to make him you know one of the best young quarterbacks in the league that is our plan now this time around we're gonna sim all the way to the playoffs after that long offseason see if sam darnold can perform with the carolina panthers in his second season with the squad Maybe he can ball out. Maybe he could be the number one team in the division. I don't know. They got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to worry about. The Saints are always good every year. The Falcons, they're a toss-up every year. I don't know. But the Panthers, they're a young, rebuilding team. And they made the playoffs and finished 9-7 and seven, are going against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So we're going to upgrade our players here. There you go. Upgrade them. Let's see what overall Sam Darnold is and what his stats were looking like. So yeah, like I said, the Bucks and Saints are all the teams we had to worry about. And once again, he threw for 29 touchdowns, this time 13 interceptions. But hey, 3,400 yards led the team to the playoffs in his second year with the Carolina Panthers. Very solid stuff right there for Sam Darnold. And now he's a 76 overall. All right, that's good stuff. He started out the simulation at a 70 and has progressed all the way to a 76. That is improvement. And that's what you like to see in a Madden 21 simulation right there. So number 14, Sam Darnold. He's still only 24, so he's got plenty of room for improvement right there, okay? Ratings-wise, he's still doing pretty good. He's still got that 78 speed, 89 short now, 86 throwing around, 83 play action. You see him. You're looking at the core attributes. There's secondary attributes right there. Sam Darnold didn't progress a star development, but didn't expect that. McCaffrey had 1,400 yards rushing, 9 touchdowns. Gus Edwards, the backup. Now, he was a good signing for us. 11 touchdowns right there. Sam Darnold. So, we signed Todd Gurley and Gus Edwards. I forgot about that. So, we got a, like, a little running back committee, even though Christian McCaffrey is still balling out. I forgot we signed both of them, but it is what it is. Cameron Brait. Now, he was our leading receiver in yards, all right? So, he was a good signing for us. 855 yards receiving. Only one touchdown, but... Still caught the ball plenty of times. DJ Moore was balling out. Robbie Anderson got some touchdowns as well. There you go. You see the stats. You're looking at them. Defensively, let's take a look at what happened on the defensive side of the ball. Denzel Perryman was our leading uh, tackler with 107 tackles. And he tied with Shaq Thompson as well, who is our leading or our sack leader right here. We got to take a look at this. And our sack leader is going to go to Hassan Reddick this time around. We had a lot of sacks on defense. Nine sacks. So we had a sack, a uh, tie for the sacks on our team. Nine sacks apiece for Derek Brown and Hassan Reddick. Eight and a half sacks for Edith Gross Mayo. So he was right there in the race. Uh, Brian Burns, seven sacks. So our defense, our young defense, is balling out right now. And we were 13th offensively and 6th defensively. So that's a solid wild card uh, performance right there. 
this season. Now we have to play a divisional rival, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Can we get the job done? I don't know. We lost last week to them. We're playing them again this week. We're about to find out. I don't know. It's going to be a tough one. And we lost 31-28 to in a nail biter. But it is what it is. But there you go, guys. So Sam Darnold brought the Panthers to a playoff berth. And he wasn't able to do anything with the Jets because of how poorly run that franchise is. But there you have it, Sam Darnold, 76 overall. Tell me what you guys' thoughts are on the trade. Do you guys like it? I think it's going to help out Sam Darnold's career as it gives him a fresh start. And, you know, in a new offense with a talented young coach and Matt Rule. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this Madden 21 simulation. If you did, drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. I'll catch you guys later. Rock Soldier 72 signing off.